Hey guys, welcome back to the North American Guitar. I'm Lindsay and we have another special guest session today that we're super excited about. We're seated here with the wonderful fingerstyle guitarist, Muriel Anderson. Muriel, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you, Lindsay. It's nice to be here, uh, what used to be cotton music. I mean, yeah. I, we go way back. Uh, I was so good friends with Darcy, who uh, started uh, this place, and it's great to see you're, you're still going. Well, I'm sure a lot of the TNAG audience is familiar with your work, but for anybody who isn't, you are, of course, a guitarist, a harp guitarist, a composer, and you're the first woman to ever win the National Fingerstyle Guitar Championship, which is super cool. So. Oh, well, now there's uh, several. Now yes, there's three. but you yeah. were the first one, so yeah. that's that's a pretty cool thing to, sit, to be able to, to say. Um, did you start off playing steel string or nylon string guitar? My first good guitar was a steel string. Mm -hmm. uh, my very first guitar was a nylon string, a half-size Decca, mm -hmm. when I was eight years old. So I, I always thought of those like, kind of like a rubber string guitar, you know, <laughs> the, the little you know guitar that you start off with, and then. Uh, I played steel string for a long time, played bluegrass and folk music, and then got an electric to play jazz. And then the only way to study guitar in college was to study classical. So yeah. I kind of re reluctantly swapped you know, one, one of my guitars for a cheap classical guitar. And, <laughs> and, well, that's, that's super yeah. cool, though, because your style, you really see the blend of everything that you play. And it seems like you, you kind of gravitate a lot towards the classical guitars, but you have such a contemporary approach. Um, well, thanks. It's yeah, yeah. My my main instruments are now nylon strings, so mm -hmm. I find that y you can shape a lot of things with it. So I play all different styles of music on yeah. it, of course. But uh, with the nylon strings, you can get such a variety of tone, mm -hmm. and I think that's the thing that really intrigues me. About. But uh, you know, I, I occasionally will still go back to the steel string. Yeah, you know, I like that little sparkly sound. <laughs> so, how did you get into the harp guitar? Was it a teacher who had one, or did you just? I guess decided no, no, to commission no. one. Um, I, I had to, uh, you know, eventually have one built for me, but uh, I was just writing and, and arranging tunes that were calling for that extra low resonating bass mm -hmm. string. You know, I just wanted that sound, yeah. and I seen pictures of a harp guitar. So I said, well, that will make the sound that's in my head mm -hmm. that I keep on reaching for, and it's oh, not on cool. my guitar. Yeah. Wow, so yeah, I was just about to ask, so how has that really impacted your composition process? But clearly you sort of had the idea before you had the guitar. Yeah, yeah it's, it seems like uh, all the technique, uh, all the instruments are all driven by what the music wants mm -hmm. me to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really all based on what the music says, what it wants to be. Awesome. Yeah.
When you're playing guitar, you're used to playing with a hand like this, and then at first I was reaching like mm -hmm. that to get the, the bass strings, but you have to spread your thumb oh, yeah. out like this. So it's, it's a different uh, thing that you haven't done, spreading the thumb and the fingers out so that you can play uh, you know, even the high string and the very lowest string mm -hmm. at the same time. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so that way you're not, yeah, you're not totally shifting and like yeah, losing so track Yeah, so it is are. a different movement to, to get used to doing that. And now that I've added the super trebles, mm -hmm. uh, I can't really see the super trebles to know where I am, so I just have to use faith. And <laughs> it was John Doan who told me this, you know, just relax and have faith. And it, if I tense my fingers up, um, then they, they don't feel the, the distance between the strings anymore. Mm -hmm. So I have to really... Uh, Every time I go to the super travels, I have to think, relax. Mm -hmm. And when I relax and just let instinct and, and faith do it, then they, <laughs> they hit the right <laughs> strings. But the moment I tense up, it'll hit a wrong string. Interesting. So that's kind of like almost like a spiritual process. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> well, Austin, can you tell us more about this particular guitar? This was made by Mike Doolin. And the first harp guitar I got, I had it just built as a reproduction of the ones that were made right around the year 1900. They were just made for a short time in oh, America, wow. 1890 to 1920 or mm -hmm. so. The harp guitar that I had built for me was so big and heavy that I couldn't carry it with me on tour. And I couldn't really lift it and play it the same day. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so Mike Doolin came up from the audience and said, I'm a guitar builder and I could make you a travel guitar so you can take it with you, learn to play. And, and so it was just going to be for uh, just for learning, just to learn to play. But and then as Mike started building, uh, I said, well, can you add these half step tuners oh. so that I can change the pitch of the sub basses so I can play in different keys mm -hmm. and some tunes. I'll turn them in the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I said, well, can you make it sh you know, shorter so it'll fit in the overhead bin? <laughs> and then can you make it with steel uh, nylon strings here and then steel strings in the super trebles eventually? So wow. what started off as a design for a bicycle kind of turned into a Rolls Royce. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it's my, my main harp guitar. Wow. Um, on so this one, so. Is this something that he mostly, does he, has he built any others like this kind of inspired well, by Well, actually the guitar? first one he built for me did not have the super trouble. Okay. So this is the second one he's built for me. And I had him add the super troubles oh, for, cool. for that. Mike is actually, I, he's a mutual friend. Cause yeah, uh, yeah I'm, fr I'm friends with his wife, Nancy. And uh, yeah, he's great. he's a really interesting guitar builder. If anybody's interested in checking Mike Doolin out, he, he actually built Nancy a guitar that the neck detaches and she can travel with it. And it's like, I think very ergonomic. Yeah. So yeah, he's such an in inventive um, builder. Yeah, you know, uh, Luke Bruner is now doing that, making these uh, collapsible guitars, mm -hmm. and uh, he's one of the builders. So I asked if they could make some attachable super trebles, so I can take any guitar or harp guitar and oh. attach the super trebles. And so Luke did it. He's now calling them Muriel trebles, oh, very <laughs> just because cool. I asked for them, and and we worked together to design them. And mm -hmm. uh, but he uh, made uh, just a lovely design. You can see them uh, on my website if you okay. go yeah. to the shop. And yeah, cool. Uh, so it's 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 cool now to be able to convert any guitar into one with super trebles. Yeah. So are those always tuned the same way or can you adjust those? For uh, I can adjust particular... these. Uh, this, so if I wanted uh, a major scale, okay. these are little violin uh, fine tuners mm -hmm. uh, at the edge too. Um, well, you've got some awesome projects that, uh, that we're really excited to hear more about, one of which is um, Acoustic Chef, which is a CD oh, yes. and book combination. So can you tell us more about that? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, after I released Nightlight Daylight, that was uh, the one uh, that lights up and won all the awards and everything like that. It's got fiber optics in the cover. And so that was kind of my tour de force. You know, but just for a couple of years, I couldn't figure out, you know, what can I do after that? How can mm -hmm. I top that? And so I thought, this is a time I have to do the cookbook project. I've been wanting to do it for years and years. Yeah. So it's um, recipes we've collected from touring all around the world, uh, just some amazing and easy to, to do recipes. And then a CD in the front there, yeah. so because I've composed uh, or arranged music for each of the recipes, so that you can have the right music while you're cooking. You know, that's important to have the right music while you're cooking. Right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> And like a lot of folks, uh, especially during the pandemic, you've done a lot of teaching and a lot of online teaching. Um, so what are, some, what are some of the ways people can learn from you? 
Uh, there's two different formats now I'm using. I'm using TrueFire, and that's when you uh, exchange videos back and forth, and that's a very inexpensive way to get lessons and have access to lots and lots of lessons. Um, uh, some of them are up there free right now, in fact. Uh, if you, uh, it's linked on my website. Uh, there's a, a page called Now on the website, and that has all, all my things linked. And I'm also teaching through String Masters. Okay, awesome. Yes, and so I do one-on-one -on -one lessons through String Masters. And so that's been a, a great format. Mm -hmm. You get great sound, but then it doesn't echo back. So you really? don't have to use headphones. You can do it without headphones. Mm -hmm. And they have it figured out where you can both see each other mm -hmm. at the same time. And you can upload your sheet music right in, at, in time. Oh, so you can say, oh, you want to learn this tune? There it is. And there it is. It's right in front of you for both of them. And they can read it off the screen or print it out. And, oh, wow. and all the lessons are... Uh, videotaped only for the student so they okay. can go back and watch the lessons at any time and print out the music at any time so they've, they've figured a lot of things out yeah so that sounds like a great yeah, service cool. cool well thank you so much for stopping by and visiting us today and sharing your dual and harp guitar with us and oh, you're welcome folks who are watching this video be sure to stay tuned through the rest of it because muriel is going to play several pieces on it so we're really excited to hear those if you want to learn more about muriel's work go to murielanderson.com where you can support your, her music and Thank find you. out where she's playing next. And <laughs> yes, I am playing yes, out again. In real life. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see those dates online. And yeah, is there anything else that you wanted to share before we sign out? Oh, just a million things with you. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll, we'll do this again and talk about some more later. That would be awesome. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much again. And thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you.